Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm the product manager for the VSEC controllers. And in my previous video, I already explained to you the product features that we've been working on in the past six months. So now let's switch to the features that will help you in the development of your charging station. I'm showing you here the product specification, the second part of it. And I want to highlight the new features in the web configuration interface. It is now possible to change the network configurations, which means that you can change the network settings for the two Ethernet interfaces of the VSEC and for the one Ethernet interface of the VSEC single board. You can also now perform a firmware update directly in the web interface, which is very handy since we are releasing new features every three months. So now you will not need a charging station management system in order to perform firmware updates. Also, it is possible to download log files and to clear the log files directly in the web interface. We have set the possibility now to define a log level. So you can choose to which granularity you want to log the messages. Consequently, the log files will also become smaller or bigger depending on the level you choose. Finally, to assist you in the EV communication, the VSEC controller allows to write tra trace logs of the power line communication between the charging station and the EV. So now I want to show you directly in the web interface how you can use the new features. You already know our web interface, so I will right dive into it. When scrolling down, here you see the section about the log files. You can download the log files and you can perform a cleanup. In order to set the log level, we will go up here to the charging station. And then you see down here the log level, which you can choose. It ranges from trace to error. Trace means every message, error means only the error messages. So as I said before, the log files will become smaller or bigger depending on the level that you choose. Right below the log files section, you can start and stop the PLC logging. You can do that directly in the web interface and the PCAP files will be stored also in the log files. When stopping the PLC communication and downloading the log files, you can open the PCAP files in tools such as Canoe or Wireshark and therefore analyze the PLC communication. Down here, you can change the network settings. You can select the interface to be chosen here. So Ethernet 1 is the standard configuration static with this IP address. And for Ethernet 2, the standard is DHCP. But you can change that according to your needs. At the bottom of the web configuration interface, you can perform a firmware update. So just upload the file here and run the update of the firmware. In my previous video, I showed you the new product features and I will quickly show you here in the web interface what you will need to do to enable them. In order to use an RFID reader, make sure that in the authorization controller, RFID is placed. In the security controller, you can choose which RFID reader you want to use. So here you have the choice between the Minova and the Elatec reader. Finally, in the TX controller, you can define the EV connection timeout. So that means how much time do you have to plug in the cable in order to not run into an authorization timeout. If you want to control two power electronics via CAN, you can define the CAN base address here in the EVSE1 and EVSE2 part of the power electronics. If you want to configure the baud rate, navigate to the power electronics communication section and here you can set the baud rate. If you want to use the pantograph charging, navigate to the connector section and here you can choose the pantograph control type. Currently it is set on simulation and you can choose between digital input or output to control the pantograph or make it PE controlled, which means that you control it 
via the PEP WebSocket protocol. Finally, if you want to build your charging station with a stop button in order to stop the charging, you can enable that here with true or false. That was just a quick overview of the new features in our web interface. If you need any assistance or want to know more about our features and about our roadmap, please feel free to contact me anytime. Thank you.